Julie. I really enjoyed getting this opportunity to record some stuff for you. Uh, the sticks I used in this uh, recording were, in no certain order, these are Vic Firth live wires. They're like regular brushes, but they have little metal beads on the end that give you a little bit more attack. I used regular Vic Firth wire brushes. They're just the regular wire brushes without beads on the end. These are the famous dreadlocks. They have an awful lot of sound though. I used, um, these are Vader uh, whips. There's a bunch of different versions on this. There's also something called blast sticks um, that Regal Pit used to make, but they're, they're a nylon kind of, really hard nylon brush. Um, so those are kind of hard and they're also adjustable a little bit. <laughs> Only found one of my nylons, um, but you did hear a little bit of it. By the way, for a little extra twang, the farther you get towards the edge, depending on the timpani being used, it gives you a lot more of that slap and twang if that's what you're looking for. Um, I also used uh, some wood wax. Sometimes they're just called roots, R-U-T-E-S. Um, about these is they gave you the best rim sound on this section. So if that, that ricky ticky is what you're looking for, that worked really well. Most of the time I found it best with the brushes to play in the center. But that kind of a washboard sound is what you were looking for and the rim not, didn't work so well. Really almost, almost a non-negotiable sound there. Um, that's pretty much what I used. Oh, I, just for fun, I used two wooden craft dowels. They're, they're pretty much like what's inside of these, but just a single one. Um, really hard to control, but an interesting sound. Kind of interesting on the other section. most like the twangy sound you're looking for. I'm not sure. Either way, thanks for the opportunity. I had fun doing it. Hope it's helpful. And if I can be helpful to you in the future, hit me up. <laughs>